Hello everybody, um, welcome to this just kind of small little build tutorial um, for a, a smaller medieval style house. Now as you can see here, I've kind of built this like, sheep pasture, right, this castle. Um, sorry for the lag, it's, the world's still kind of loading in, I think. But um, building very similar to this structure right here. You see, very simple, but I think it looks pretty good looking and it is accurate. You know, we've got the, um, it sticks out right here, right? You've got the medieval jettying style, um, wood beams, uh, clay, everything you'd want. You even have, you know, some nice, uh, working shutters on some windows, of course, you know. In Minecraft, there are certain things you have to kind of get over. But, um, anyway, I thought I would just share with you this simple little build. And one more thing before we get to that I would just like to show you how you can use these simple uh, builds to really make something that I think is pretty cool so as this is loading in and I haven't loaded this world in a while probably should have done that before this video but um, and you'll see as it slowly comes into view here um, I have made and I'm still in the process of making this little medieval town here um, uh, and basic basically although it looks very complicated it's all with just these simple little houses, um, these same style that I'm about to show you here. But as you can see, and it's very loud here, it's all the villagers. Um, if you just add, you know, little variations here and there, maybe differences in color, differences in roof patterns and whatnot, and uh, always uh, using, you can use some good references, that's what I like to do. You can see you can make a pretty convincing little medieval town, or um, uh, town square like I have here. And then you can keep going as I've done through here uh, and just continue to make little side streets and what have you so without any further ado I will show you how to make one of these medieval style buildings and I think just um, for the sake of simplicity I'm gonna do it over here so first what you wanna get is some sort of log I think I'm just gonna, uh, um, I'll do spruce logs here. Um, and with this, you're gonna kind of lay out the structure of your building. And, uh, real quick, you know what, I'm actually just gonna turn down the video settings. Um, just a little bit, so it's a little bit, uh, smoother. So, um, what you're gonna do is figure out how wide you want it to be, right? So let's just say uh, I want it that to be the front right corner. So you'll um, and you will fill these in later, of course. You're gonna want to break a few blocks and uh, let's say put uh, I don't know. Let's say that's your let's say this is your other corner. And I'm just doing this really off the cuff so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, right? So that's one corner. We'll just kind of. Two, three, four, and I think I'm going to have, because when you're building these buildings, you want to think like this. You want to think, am I making this structurally sound? And I mean, obviously, Minecraft doesn't really have structure physics per se, but you want to think that way so then your builds come out looking, I mean, if you're going for realistic buildings, that is. All right, so we have our basic foundation laid out, right? this is going to be the area that our house is going to take up. So, what we're going to want to do from there, and you can do this with clay or cobblestone, or any number of, you can do this with wood planks if you want to. I'm just going to do it with cobblestone here because I think I've seen that on many medieval buildings and I like the way it looks when it comes out. But again, this is kind of a basic shape and if you want to get more creative with this, by all means, go ahead, because this is something that's very easy to get creative with. And what you're going to want to do is build this up about three high. Again, nothing is set in stone, so you can do whatever you would like with that. Oops. And also, uh, there we go. Um, so you see now we have these kind of poles. What I like to do usually is... um set that across there, right? So now you're going to think, all right, I'm making these kind of cross beams that will hold the walls up and hold everything in place. 
And um, again, you want to make these as if you're trying to make this building structurally sound. You might think, oh, that looks pretty good. But you have to remember, this is going to be supporting a decent amount of weight. So you're going to want to put this beam across here. All right, there. Although the house is going to be coming out this way, and you probably want the beams across this way, it's a bit too short. But then again, you know, they did interesting things in the medieval era, so you can't really... Uh, you can find plenty of exam examples of houses that don't follow this pattern. It's just that a lot of them tend to, especially when they're in bigger cities. Or maybe even just a town, like the one I've got over there. Also, uh, make use of any blocks that you can. And you can see, like, I'm not putting a ton of detail into these houses. Like, you could go way, way more detailed with these buildings. But I'm trying to keep it more of a realistic. Again, if you want to... Um, oh, there's my friend. If you want to uh, make these more detailed by all means. Now we're going to grab stairs. And this is where the fun begins to come in. So we're also going to grab, not clay, it's terracotta. i got to remember that. I always call it clay. Um, some terracotta and spruce and cobblestone. What are you going to want to do with these, first of all? Um, put these stairs like this. And again, you don't have to do it like this. This is just the way I'm choosing to do it. Um, you know what? Also, just really quickly, uh, let's just bring that down a lot. There we go. That's cleared it up a little bit, I think. Um, it's just this recording software does do a number on my frame rate on any game, really. Anyway, i got to get new recording software, actually. Um, you saw what I did here. I put these kind of stairs up, right? Then I am placing these logs um, up like this. So you're kind of kind of mirror the first floor, except you're going to want to put these logs on that staircase that we just built right there because um, what those logs are going to be doing oh that's much better now it just looks like really foggy and weird what you're because what this is going to be is going to be your medieval jettying they used to do this all the time uh, m most medieval buildings you'll find are at least in, in cities and towns and what have you and this is supposed to be a city town building jeez that scared me um, you, they will do this technique called jettying, where they have the second floor. Um, they have the second floor kind of jutting out. Um, this is both for structural stability, and and you might think, what? Why is that? Well, because if you think about it, the floorboards, right? They're running across here. It's easier to keep them from being bowed if they're going that that direction. And you know what? I'm actually gonna change this beam from going like that to going like this. Yes, I know it is off-center, but if you look at a lot of medieval buildings, they're also quite off-center. So let's go here. And you will see what I'm doing here is um, I'm filling these in with clay because they used, this is uh, a technique that they used to use called called waddle and daubing where essentially they they would weave sticks into these kind of walls and then cover it up with um, like mud and clay and what have you so um, to create a kind of uh, wall and they actually worked very well in a lot of um, it, and it's, it's that cl this classic style you see with the the logs and the clay coming in between now I have to say though and I have done this many times and it's what I'm noticing about this house, I want to have another beam running down the middle. So what I'm going to do here is take this. And actually, this will prevent this house from being so uneven. Oh, wait, I can just make that cobblestone. There we go. Because as of right now, it's not got the best um, evenness, if that makes sense. So we're actually going to place that again there and get rid of this whole wall and you see this is another part of the process right you know just kind of oh I don't like how that looks oh, I'll go and back and change that blah, yada 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 blah 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 whatever and um and this is more so just to get this uh technique out there as opposed to um you know 
oh, this is a perfect build, because, let's be honest, no build is perfect, there's always going to be compromises and things you're not entirely happy about, but, you know, what can you do, that's, that's the way it goes, and that's how real life is, too, you know, you're never going to have the exact perfect, uh, Jesus, the exact perfect build in real life as well. So you'll see, we, you see we've kind of made this house a little wider, a little fatter, you know, it's a, it's a bit more squat. Um, so, what we're going to want to do now, start thinking about the roof. Um, oh, and now you see this is even, so. Um, and also, what I love to do with these houses, I, oh yeah, slab, I forgot, is to get some nice... First of all, we will set about making a floor in here. And don't worry about windows and doors, because that is all coming. That's I always save that stuff for the end. Oops. So, what we're going to want to do is... I always like to use slabs, because it just feels more like floor to me, you know? Like, your floor is never, like, a meter thick, right? Your floor is always... Maybe, um... Maybe not even that thick. But this is what I really like to do here. So I put, place these slabs in between the beam, right? So then it get, really feels like this is a house with structure. Because you'll notice, as I'm finishing building these, these, and it is a bit dark in here, so I'll just crack that open a little, little bit of light, and also, there we go. Um, you'll see, oh, this actually looks like a house with support and structure. See all that across there? You've got this big beam running through, so this makes you feel like this house is actually being supported by something and not just Minecraft magic. Oh, that looks very foggy. That's kind of funny. Anyway, um, what you're going to want to do, and I think for this building, I'll have it kind of a, a roof that's more like this as opposed to one that goes like that. Um, so, I want to start placing. And again, the roofs of these houses especially is where it, you can get very creative. So, I'm going to want to start placing these, and obviously it's just a little bit of a process, so I guess I'll just edit this out and see you guys when I've finished just putting the stairs up. Alright, so I've placed the stairs on top, and of course I'm not quite finished with the roof yet, because there's still a few more touches to add. They'll make it look nicer. But you'll also see on the inside here, I've made this kind of uh, another beam and cross structure, so we kind of have a bit more, um, again, it looks like there's more structure in this building, and it also makes it a little bit easier to build the stairs. Now you'll see, again, we have come to one block, so what I'm going to do is use these slabs here, and obviously this is a pretty normal technique, and um, uh, there we go, that's the top of our roof. Now, what I'm going to do, and this is very important that you do this, because without it, your builds will just kind of look flat and faceless. You're going to want to put... put Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, put your stairs like that, and I'm not going to leave that, and you'll see why in a second. It's pretty simple. Um, you will really want to do this, and this is a tip that any Minecraft builder will tell you. I'm not the most advanced builder. I'm, I think I'm okay. But um, any Minecraft builder will tell you to do this. You want to put, you want to place. If you're gonna have a roof, you want those stairs to come out because otherwise it's gonna look kind of bland. Now, why did I place that block there? You see, well, there's a few methods for doing the top of the roof. One, you can just have it kind of continue straight on like that. You know, just very straight roof. Another, maybe you want to have your roof start to slope down. That's a cool idea too, right? But this is what I like to do sometimes. I had, the, I had a little stair block there, so you kind of got a little... I don't know if you call it like a hipped roof almost. I'm not entirely sure of the term for it. But if we go back to the town, um, you'll see that I've done this a number of times. Uh, just a little something special. And you want you want those little details. You don't have to have these exactly. And again, when you're building this, this is just kind of an idea of how to get this kind of style. And you might be saying, well, that, that looks nice and all, but it's a bit empty, isn't it? Yes, it is, which is why we're going to continue adding some more detail. Now, another thing that you might want to do is this. You might want to add the stairs there, because that will make it look a bit 
uh, more full, like less uh, dangly, if that makes sense. Uh, maybe not the best choice of words, but you know, uh, that make it a little, little bit more uh, less uh, supportless. Again, now, ooh, that might this might look kind of good. And see, part of it is just playing around and seeing what looks good. Again, this is all up to yours. I'm just kind of up to your um, personal idea of what you think would look good. And I'm actually going to add another oops, uh, structure there. Just, uh, you know, for... And we will do the same thing here. Because, again, it adds just that little bit more detail that might make this house look a bit more alive. So... Now we have come to the part where you're going to want to start adding on details. Now, first of all, every single medieval house had a chimney. You might have seen some of them in our um, in the village over here don't have chimneys. That's mainly because when I build, build a chimney, I like it to be functional. But, you know, again, Minecraft, you have to make sacrifices. So sometimes I'll just put, you know, like this, for example. This is not, you can't work in Minecraft, but it looks like a chimney nonetheless. You can tell what it is. And, um... So for this house, we're going to do just that. We are actually going to take away this little block here and uh, make ourselves a cobblestone chimney. And you see here, oops, and um, oops, text message. That's uh, that's really all you need. If you want a little bit of extra detail, you can get a flower pot and put that on top, so it kind of looks like the little bit the smoke actually comes out of. So. Uh, now we have, again, come to the fun detail part. So, let's find ourselves some glass panes. There's something in my eye. Oops, clicked the wrong one because there's something in my eye. <laughs> Alright, so, in the medieval era, if you look at a lot of medieval buildings, sometimes, um, quite a few, good bit of the time, the windows are nicely kind of even and proportioned, but sometimes they can be a bit kind of wonky and off. So, it might be fun to make kind of random windows like this. Because, again, it makes your... <laughs> kind of looks cross-eyed now. Um, it kind of makes your building look more alive and lived in because, you know, it's not exactly perfect. Because no building... I mean, you can get buildings to look very nice and such, but no building will be exactly perfect. Now, we're not going to have a lot of buildings on the ground floor. I'm actually going to take this away. Because realistically... Oops. Realistically, this building will be right up next to another building and you might say well, what about this overhang you can just get rid of that if it's if you know you're gonna have your building the other building right there um you can leave it or you can get rid of it and you can have these little alleys here either way hello wandering llama anyway so you see now it's starting to look a bit more like a building and um this is these are kind of some of the final, final details. I like to use the spruce doors because they look more fitting for this time period, as well as the spruce trap door. And um, before we do that, actually, I just remembered, uh, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want a way to get up, right? Um, oops, always forget about that. So here, just simple stairs on the way up to the next floor. And again, I'm actually gonna remove these windows because like I said realistically this house will be right up next to another window another house but it might not be ex not up next to another house in the back because you know they have these little alleys so you could probably get away with a window or two in there and same thing with the door actually so I think I'll put a door there and I usually like to place them like this I know placing them like this uh, gives a little bit a little bit more um, depth but I like to do it like this because, oops, um, uh, because real doors open inwards. Again, I usually go for realism as much as possible in, in Minecraft and in these games. So, um, but again, part of the fun of these games is you can build whatever you want. So I'm also going to put that there just to give it continuity. So there you see we have our nice staircase going up. And again, you might remember, but isn't there a fireplace here? Why, yes, there is. So what we're going to do actually is um, most of the time they didn't really care all that much about um, fire safety. <laughs> I mean, they did to an extent, but uh, I think you understand what I mean. 
and we're also going to, oops, wrong button, get a shovel, just because obviously this isn't an, an actual fireplace, but you get the effect either way. And we're also going to put a a little trap door, wrong way, <laughs> there, so you kind of have your hearth, and I think I might actually get a different trap door. Again, this is the part of the thing where, you know, you can you can play around with it, right? You can... It's it's all about, you know, it. It's it's about having a good time building and building something that you're happy with in the end. So anyway, you can see, and it's also getting quite dark here. So now we can solve this problem with our friend the lantern. And I'm going to say this: uh, most of the time in the medieval era, they didn't use torches because they were didn't last for very long, and they. Uh, they didn't provide it. They provided enough light, but they're just kind of unwieldy and dangerous. So they would use lanterns, actually. You know, it might be kind of cool if you put a lantern up there. Like, oh, just left a lantern. So, um, they would use lanterns in the medieval era more so than they would use torches. And I know that's a that's kind of a big misconception about the medieval era. Um, anyway. There, just, you know, give a bit more of... Um... Realistic feel. I'm also going to replace this and this. Um, anyway. And you know what? I'm also realizing, and again, this is what I'm talking about. You're going to have, like, rewrites and redos. I'm just realizing that that is in an opportune spot because that's where the poles kind of, or poles supports kind of converge. So let's actually not place that there. Let's just move it over a block, right? And again, this is, this is, if you're a builder and you're worried about you're worried about um oh I'm gonna mess with the the arch I'm gonna ruin it don't worry that you're gonna ruin it you just go for it and if you don't like the way it comes out just you know change change something up um but anyway let's move our yes we have moved our fireplace over here and let's have our new chimney. I think I might have gotten rid of the pot. Yes, I did. Let's get that flower pot back. Um, and also, if you would like to see more build tutorials, I mean, I don't know if anyone wants to... Oh, wait, I was supposed to have that there. But if anybody wants to, and if you want to see more build tutorials like this one, please do let me know. Now, I'm just going to put double doors there. You know what, no, I'm actually going to put single doors there. You can tell throughout this whole thing, I'm just kind of ad-libbing it. Because, again, that's kind of what building is in Minecraft. And again, I think that chimney's a bit too tall. So there we go. And if you look at medieval chimneys, they're not super large. But I think, except for a few minor touches, that should about do it. And one thing I do like to add is these, um, these uh, shutters here. Oops, on the wrong block. Because, first of all, they add more depth to the house, and they actually work. Um, so let's go around the back and just do the same thing really quickly. There we go. So, as you can see, this is for the most part our medieval house here. And I'm going to, again, build this fireplace right here. Campfire. Now, as you can see, obviously, once you have finished, I clear away. It's gonna just make this all stone here. Um, once you've finished with the uh, outside of your house, you can go about furnishing it, furnishing it in any way you like. If you would like, if anybody wants more videos about that, um, just let me know as well. You'll also notice that I haven't really divided this into rooms that much. Because, again, if you look at medieval houses, they weren't room E, Not room-y, room-y. So they didn't have a lot of rooms, per se. They did on, like, the higher floors. So I suppose I can put a neat little hallway here. But I uh, I'll suppose that will mess with this whole kind of open ceiling thing we've got here. But, you know, again, you change things around, plans change. Uh, so, there we go. Now we got a little room here, and um, maybe even a little hallway here. 
So I think I will still leave that open room up here. And where does that lantern? That lantern's over there, so I should probably move that by now. And it also is really easy to build these buildings kind of in bulk because once you have this kind of basic setup for how you want to make this make these buildings, you can build them pretty quickly. Um, like this whole town here, I built this all maybe definitely less than a week. I mean, obviously less than a week because I, I, I don't play Minecraft or any game really for super long periods of time, like all in once. But this total, um, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure how long it took, but it definitely took less time than I thought it would. And as you can see, I think, not trying to, I'm not attempting to brag whatsoever because I know I'm not the best builder at all, but I think these, it turned out pretty well. I'm, I'm pleased with it. So, um, that should be about it for this medieval building. This is supposed to be reasonably historically accurate, and, um, the main purpose of this video was just to give the kind of simple, um, idea of a design that I've kind of figured out. And also, uh, usually, this building is quite square. Usually they'd probably be a bit longer than this, and maybe not as wide, but either way, this is kind of the, uh, basic style, and again, um, before I end this video, I'll just show you some variations that you can add. For example, you see this? No windows there, but this is doors because these could be this could be its stable. I like to make these little alleyways too, and it's also really fun to make these buildings connect because it creates these cool little overhead passages. And again, you can see, look, I've kind of played with the uh, jetting mechanic, right? Kind of pushed it out here with just this little window. And this is actually quite a big building here, but you can see that overall, it's still using very much that same style. Again, um, with this building here, this is another example. I really like this one because you see on the front, this was actually one of the really early buildings that I built in this town because I kind of started with these first. Um, you see, it's pretty much word for word that same building we just built just with the roof flipped and some variations. But um, you see, the way you can make it kind of more interesting, look, I added this pathway here, right, to this other building that's very similar to it. And see, it's just the little the little details that make it just that little bit more interesting. Um, also, it's it can be fun to change up the color, even the material as well. Because you see over here, this is actually stripped. Uh, I think it's jungle wood. Um, over here, this is just concrete powder. Uh, so, what I'm trying to say is, there's with this simple kind of baseline style, you can actually do a lot of. Is the villager? You can actually do a lot of really cool things with it, and uh, I hope I have, in making this video, I've kind of given you all anybody who's watching this video. I mean, I don't usually get a lot of views, so maybe not a ton of people will see this, but to whoever does, I hope you, I've given you kind of like a bit of an idea of how to get these this style down if you want to do that. I think one last example over here. This is, for example, this is the woodworker, right? So you see he's got this kind of open area where he can do his wood work, right? You see he's got his logs, his logs all piled up here. And, um, again, it's using that same style, but just subtle variations on it. So, um, you can see that that, that style will get you some pretty nice-looking buildings, um... And I'm not going to pretend that I've come up with this style. I mean, I've come up with it on my own just through experimentation, but I'm sure plenty of other people have used styles that are pretty much like this. I just wanted to, you know, do a little something myself. But anyway, that's about it. So, thank you all for, so much for watching, and I um, hope everybody who's watching this has a great day, and have fun building. Bye.